weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Murray now on first down. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On play action, it's Murray. It's complete to Hopkins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 44-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Shotgun now for Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. Flushed out right. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. And this is picked up by the Saints. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Winston now after the fumble recovery. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 18-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. It's a pickup of six. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. First down, Winston. They'll get this out to Kamara. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints have taken the early lead. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. And this will be a touchback, no return from Isabella. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, 
had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? A run with Connor on first down, going to get about five. Second and five coming up. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Caught left side, Hopkins. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. First down, Cardinals after the catch there by DeAndre Hopkins. Remember, he spent seven seasons in Houston, now in his second year with Arizona, and went over 10,000 yards receiving for his career last year. Another big season, also tied his career high with 115 catches, none bigger than the Hale Murray against the Buffalo Bills. Murray getting this complete to Connor, and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Murray now. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 44. Play action now, Winston. This is Smith with a grab. Touchdown, New Orleans. A Traquan Smith, 56 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. As more and more up-tempo football creeps into the NFL game, some coaches don't think time of possession matters anymore. I believe we found one of them. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Isabella not going to risk a return here, and they'll start at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of... And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. 
Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, the fact they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Murray. And he's taken down here by the Saints. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now Andy Lee will come on to punt this one away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Zayvon Collins, rookie first-round pick there on the stop. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Winston to give. It's Kamara. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Here's Kamara. Try to run for it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. And the Saints not only missing Drew Brees from last year, they also lost their top tight end, Jared Cook, to the Chargers. So tight end, it's a position in flux. But that's a nice grab there to pick up the first down. First down throw for Winston. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. Touchdown, Saints. Michael Thomas, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Saints now add six to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, They've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. 
And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. Time again to see Jameis Winston in this Saints offense. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. And he is going to have a Saints first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Smith. The reception good for seven. It's third down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They go play action. Winston. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Jameis now on first down. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. And Traquan Smith now in his fourth year from UCF. Still expanding his repertoire and finding his way. Makes a nice catch there for a first down. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Winston. And that is incomplete. Thomas, the intended target. Third down here. Here's Winston. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. The Cardinals gonna use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And Lutz's kick is good. 
And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Isabella not going to risk a return here. And they'll start at the 25. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. Yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first and ten, here's Murray. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Get me! Let's go! Let's go! Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up on them because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, They've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and then, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on a line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Dancing to his left. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. From the gun, Winston. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Winston to Thomas there for the Saints first down. And a nifty catch there for a first down by Michael Thomas. Still getting used to the fact that it's not Drew Brees throwing him passes. Never really 100% in 2020. Battled some injuries along the way. Ended up only suiting up for seven games. 40 catches. That's a tough drop because in 2019, had 149 catches, an NFL record. On second and 10, Winston. Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints continue to pull away here in this first half. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. On the right side, caught by Green. Now the Card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. 
To throw again on second down. Murray. He finds Hopkins complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's got it to Williams. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. It was a strong first half by the veteran quarterback, Jameis Winston. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front as we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone, and we will not see a run back here from Harris. Out onto the field comes Traquan Smith and the rest of the offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. Real far, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A give. This is Camara, And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 52 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints are pouring it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think he might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. To throw is Murray. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. On the slam, complete to Hopkins. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. 
Jordan who came in and got him. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Throwing on second and 14. Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Murray now to throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense. Now, 75 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one, and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he's going to be taken down with the marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That one on the guard, Cesar Ruiz. Try to throw now, Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. He's had success running the football. This is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should have pick up a holding call. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now Winston. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. And he stopped at the 44. It's also a gain of four. And now it's fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Ooh. First 
first down, Murray. And caught, right side, Green. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right of the yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, and able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And now has every potential to So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Murray fighting, lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's into the end zone. A fumble return and a safe touchdown. And now before the ball changes hands, it will be a So that challenge is a successful one. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. We're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. 99 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator when we clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Coming up on second and seven. To throw is Winston. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Harris. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just now been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Play action, Winston. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And this is caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Murray will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, half to half, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. After the touchdown, wants to kick it off. Isabella not going to risk a return here, and they'll start at the 25. 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try and play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Murray now on first down. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's Murray from midfield. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 38-yard line. Now Murray again. It's Williams on the catch. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Murray now on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Marcus Davenport able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Murray. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Marcus Davenport giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down with a nice little gain. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Prater's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Kamara gets it again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 121 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Second and 10. Here's Winston. It's caught. Smith. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Winston to throw for it on four. Complete. Smith has it. And he's got this down to the 35. 
A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again, and that takes us from second to third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, Winston. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. 21 yards there, a big play on fourth down. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like, that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Again, it's Winston. Steps away to his left toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one, and oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. On second and goal, Winston. And it's caught, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. Thing is ugly. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the loop. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. And this will be a touchback, no return from Isabella. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throwing again on second down. Murray, pass complete to Green. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Murray. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The reception made by Green. 
And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. They'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.